It's a gut feeling we've all experienced. If you're always bloated and uncomfortable, you need to watch this video. Bloating and indigestion. Gut health, what used to be a taboo topic, is now taking over TikTok. It has made my bloating disappear. With users suggesting recipes and supplements they say can heal your gut and restore your gut microbiome, meaning restore harmony among the trillions of microorganisms living in your digestive system. But what does that really mean, and do those hacks actually work? But there is a lot of misinformation out there, and I think there are certain conditions where the gut is angry and it is inflamed, but this idea of healing gut may be a little little misguided, it may be not as simple as that. Dr. Kyle Stoller is the director of gastrointestinal motility lab at MGH, and we asked him about some of those popular de-bloat products. First things first, we see mushroom coffee. Yeah, mushroom coffee is interesting, but it's coffee with mushroom supplements added to it. There's just not a lot of evidence that it does anything. Mushrooms can be helpful, but many mushrooms can cause some digestive symptoms in certain people, and certain mushrooms can actually change the way we metabolize or break down medications. So just because something's natural, doesn't necessarily mean it's harmless. Next up. So I hopped on the colostrum train just like everybody else on the internet right now. Colostrum. I mean, it's not cheap, first of all, but it's a new trend that I see a lot of people taking. Yeah, colostrum's interesting. I mean, this is the early milk that comes in from a cow. And the idea is that it contains lots of immunoglobulins that may stimulate your immune system and help with immunity. The truth is, again, there's not a lot of evidence. There's not a lot of science behind it. Okay, apple cider vinegar gummies. No evidence whatsoever that they help. Digestive enzymes, I see that pop up everywhere. All of us need enzymes to help break down nutrients in our digestive tract. And most of the time our pancreas kind of creates or produces those enzymes that we need. Very rarely do people have pancreatic damage that then causes them to not create enough of these enzymes. Dr. Stoller says it's not a one-size-fits-all formula when it comes to gut health. We know what constitutes a healthy gut probably means a lot of diversity in that microbiome, means lots of different types of bacteria that are doing lots of different types of things. What we don't know is how that looks for you versus me, and it may be very different. But one principle he says remains true. Eating lots of different things, lots of different healthy things, particularly things that are fiber containing, we know that that's gonna be beneficial for a variety of different types of GI conditions. Dr. Stoller says to be mindful of symptoms that accompany bloating, like bleeding, abdominal pain, or weight loss, or if the bloating is affecting your quality of life, and that's when you should consult with your doctor. Otherwise, general bloating is it's not necessarily a cause for alarm. Bloating is part of our natural being. All of us become more bloated over the course of the day, and often it will reset the following morning. Yeah, another thing to remember here, Dr. Stoller says many of the products online and on social media are not regulated by the FDA, meaning there's less scrutiny of what's actually in them. There are also foods that can really irritate our gut. We put a list of those on our website, wcvb.com, so you can take a look.